Hello, dear friend. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the Majestic Family Channel. Uh -huh. My name is Jory, and this is my lovely wife, Vidime, or me. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to our channel and comment down below so we can stay in touch. Don't forget to like, share, and turn on your notification bell so, so you know when a new video comes, comes out. Thank you. Okay, today, today we have a very special list we'd like to go through with you. Yes. This video is called Why I Love You. Why do you love me? Why? Oh my word. Only five? There's so many. Let things. me count the ways. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna be talking about and giving you guys the five things uh, or the reasons why we love each other. Yes, so we're gonna take turns sharing each of our five reasons. Oh yeah, and also we wrote these lists apart from one another. Oh, so yes. that way we can be surprised or like, oh, I didn't know that was yep. a thing. I don't so. know what she's gonna say. And, and I don't know, know what he's gonna say. Boy, was it hard to come up with five things. You tried to. <laughs> don't do that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I actually had to try and narrow the list down. I was like, okay, I could say a lot of stuff. But what's I the was most, gonna say. Most important. <laughs> Yeah, I've done a few lists on you, though. Yes, you have, honey. Yeah. Oh, okay. You are just in love, huh? <laughs> right. All right. So, the first one I had was, you are honest. Mm -hmm. That's what you love, movie? I do. Really? Yeah. I, <laughs> I really appreciate that. That I know where you stand. Uh -huh. That um, I feel like honesty is paramount to you. Mm -hmm. That at the expense of many things, you choose to be honest, even if it hurts you. And so- That's why. <laughs> yeah, so I really appreciate that. Uh -huh. I always know where I stand with you. I always know if you say something, it's the truth. Mm -hmm. And you're honest, not just with me, mm -hmm. you're honest with everyone. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. No, that, I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah. you're not going out hurting people by right, honesty, right, but, right. I hope not. But, That's not my intention. Like, yeah, there's... I love that about you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so holla at your girl if you need some honesty in your life. I'm just teasing. I'm teasing. <sighs> okay. First one that I thought of that comes to mind first when I think about why I love you is that you have left and cleaved. Ah, the Bible, yes. Yeah. A man will leave and cleave. Yes. Yeah. Since yep. day one, I yep. felt like you did that. Yeah. So, so I that's, love that about you. Thank you, honey. Uh huh. That's definitely like a mind thing. Yeah. That uh, you choose. Yeah. Like uh, to leave behind mm -hmm. in your mind. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't mean you, you hate separate yourself that's from right. the family you came no. from. It just means. If a choice has to be made, you're you are putting your wife yeah. in the position she needs to be in. And yeah. and you've done well. So yeah. I and we've seen that. some some people that don't do that well. Mm -hmm. And that's sad to see. Yeah, and I want to make yeah. sure that I honor you by saying that. Oh, thanks. That honey. that is something I appreciate about you. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm glad you love that about me. Yes. <laughs> your turn. If you okay. start crying. <laughs> uh, <laughs> My next one is, I love that you are selfless. Bename has, from the very beginning of our relationship, put me and our children and the well-being of others around her before her own. And because of it, she's gone without many things. Um, maybe things you guys would even consider basics. Getting your hair done getting nice things for yourself, having makeup, mm -hmm. having, you name it, mm -hmm. you know, self-care things. Mm -hmm. um, not that we didn't want you to have those things, but you said, nope, other things are more important. And in, in your day-to-day -day basis, you get up and serve the children. You serve me. You, you serve everyone but yourself. You're very selfless, not selfish. And that I love about you. Okay. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. <laughs> it's so sweet. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is um, your kindness. Okay. I love how kind you are. Okay. Not just to our family, but to anyone you meet. Mm -hmm. um, like, <laughs> I used to struggle with something really bad just because, you know, experiences. But when I met Jory, I had made a mistake. 
and I wanted to tell him, like I confessed, I was like, I did this. And like, <laughs> I was expecting him to be like really angry with me and like, um, yeah, and react, but he didn't. Mm -hmm. Like his kindness towards me is I think what helped me to just be open about mm -hmm. any and everything because I know his reaction is like one that is embracing and not like pushing away. Yeah. So that helped to break down a lot of, you know, the walls I had up. Aww. And so, yeah, so I appreciate you for Aww. being kind. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing that I really love about you is that you're hardworking. I have a tendency to be a procrastinator. <laughs> this is not my wife. She will work hard. She will not put things off. If she if she sees something that needs to be done, well, first of all, let me say she finds what needs to be done, <laughs> and that's hard in itself. Like rather than just easing back, you find what needs to be done, and you go after it hard. Um, Viname came from Congo, mm -hmm. as you know, to America. Had to learn the language, and even as she went through school, all the way through college, even language was not super easy for her. So. Um, Learning things when you're lang when you're struggling with language is tough, and sh she would never let that stop her. When someone else would study for an hour to understand something, if she had to study four hours to understand it, she would. She would. She worked hard at it, and so this is true of her in every avenue of life. Work is not a hindrance to her, even though she knows it's going to be hard. When we get done here, she's going to go braid hair. That's going to take hours to do, not thirty minutes. It's going to take. Sometimes it takes more than eight hours. So, like, she's willing to do very hard work, and this is true in every avenue of life. Marriage is hard work. Yeah. You're willing to work hard at it mm -hmm. so that we can have a good relationship, mm -hmm. so that you're willing to work hard at raising the children so that they can be raised right. Mm -hmm. I mean, you name it, the channel, you know, the house, mm -hmm. and everything, you work hard. Well, thank you. Yeah, and I love that about you. Aww. It pushes me to want to be Harder working too. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. Yeah. Um, the way that you've loved me. Okay. Um, like some husbands expect their wives to look a certain way and to dress a certain way and um, at all times. Mm -hmm. And like Jory has just accepted me for who I am, like through the stages that I've gone through in life, lows, highs, whatever it is, there haven't been pressure like to, well, you need to, you know, lose weight or, you know, you need to dress that, we stop dressing that. Hmm. I've never heard um, Jory complain about like my appearance. Right. Um, yeah, and he's very, patient with me when it comes to a lot of the things I, you know, struggle with in terms of like health and stuff like that. So, hmm. yeah, I just love the way you love me. Ooh, I love the way, <laughs> love the way, <laughs> sorry, no, oh, thank you, honey. Well, thank you, I mm -hmm. appreciate you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've never found you unattractive, so I don't know how that could be a struggle for me. <laughs> no, I'm saying even like with my cornrows and stuff like oh. that, like, I don't know. I, st I still feel like he loves me. You know, he might think something, but he's what you like put out has been one of love. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That, that's all superficial. You know what I, I mean? I know, but to some yeah. guys, that's a big deal. Like, they don't, <laughs> they don't even want to see it. Yeah, they don't want to see their it's wives in pajamas though. and, like, they want their hair looking nice all the time. And You're not just a trophy. You're, I mean, you, you're my wife. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm a person. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're my friend. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's, uh -oh, I think that's one thing that always touches me about Jory is that I don't have to, like, perform. <laughs> for the love to be there. Yeah. So yeah. That's good. Okay. No. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. All right. So now you. Um, so my next one is you're kind. 
Really? Yeah, so you already said cut the nest. And I was like, <laughs> that's oh, so funny. I can't say anything because that's No, what I'm it's okay. So that was my next one was that you're kind. Mm -hmm. And um, some people, you know, they, they might act mm -hmm. kind. Uh -huh to your face, uh -huh. but their their heart, uh -huh. they might not really be kind. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to like money or things or, mm -hmm. you know, these things evidence what's in us. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, when they're, yeah. Yeah. when they're speaking to someone they're comfortable around, yeah. out of the overflow of the heart, the mouth yeah. will speak. Yeah. Biname really is kind. Oh. Like to people, to, her, to us first of all, to me and the children, um, and then to other people as well. Mm -hmm. And I've seen this when she's had opportunity to throw people under the bus for things they've done to her and she will cover them and protect them to others. Someone that has hurt her and uh, done very painful scarring things to her, she will cover those people and not, um, and not talk about them to others. Um, yeah, and I've seen it with many different people that have done things to her. And that is really honorable and kind. Like the idea that you would be that kind, it, it's a, it amazes me, and I love that about her. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And you've always covered me. Like I have weaknesses too. You don't go blabbing that to people. No. <laughs> so I Everybody appreciate that. Everybody has weakness. I, that's how I would want to be treated. Right. Like the Bible talks about right. treat others as you would like to be treated. Mm -hmm. How would I like to be treated? Not when I mess up, you go and like, you know, right. put my business out there, but that you would think of me like, oh, she made a mistake or mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah. So I thank you for noticing. I mm -hmm. appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Number four for me would be how well he loves our children. Okay. Um, Jory <laughs> is a, I don't know, he... Goofy. <laughs> I always tell the children, this is how good of a dad he is. I always tell the children that I wish I had a dad like you guys. Or you guys are blessed to have a father like that. Not that I had a bad dad. But there's like a different type of respect that I have for my dad mm -hmm. than I do for Jory. I think just like when I watch how he is with Bella. Like I'm just like wow that's amazing. Or like you know with all our children. Yeah. And I'm just like... Well, I have my moments when steam starts coming out of my ears. <laughs> and I have to say, honey. But for the, like, okay, that's another thing. Like, I grew up in a culture where, you know, the, you know, the adult weren't expected to apologize or, like, it was forbidden. Okay. But, like, yeah. when Jory messes up, mm -hmm. like, got out of line with the children, he, right. you know, go I apologize. Or something, yeah. Hug and affirm. Mm -hmm. And... Or like if he messes up in front of all of us, there's this, he has, he's humble. Mm -hmm. like oh, you can't add another one? No. <laughs> That's the best one. Well, I can't help it that you were just so nice. Like I, I almost said integrity, but I didn't. <laughs> you have integrity. Well, what I'm saying is like, <laughs> like when he messes up, he comes to the table like, I should not have done that. Okay. I shouldn't have said that, yeah. you know, and yeah. you can tell like he just wants to do well by his children and have them feel like we wanted them, we love them, and they're very important to us. Yeah. So the way he loves his children, sometimes I'll sit back and watch, like, you want me to read to you? Okay, come you sit, and I'll read to you. We'll just scoop up one of the older kids and on their laps, like, <laughs> you know, kisses and hugs and like, yeah, that warms my heart wow. as a mom to see like, oh, Thanks, my sweetie. husband is you know, he doesn't think our kids are a burden and, we sh you know, but that he yeah. truly loves them, so. That's definitely part of just who I am, I guess. Exactly. Very affectionate. And I love that about oh. you. <laughs> <laughs> what? I think one of the, uh, just to say oh. something, I think like that, like coming and saying I was wrong, mm -hmm. like I think I value their understanding of God and truth yeah. high enough that I would never want my reputation to be more important than them knowing God and his truth. What do you mean by that? So like if I mess up in a situation, yeah, um, I don't want them to have a skewed view of what's right and wrong. And mm -hmm. if I don't clarify 
I was wrong, yeah. then they may get a skewed view of God. Because yeah. if I say I'm serving God yeah. and I'm acting this way, yeah. then they might say, well, then I guess serving God is meaningless. Right. You know what I mean? I, and yeah. I, I never want to dishonor that. Yeah. I want them to really know him. Yeah. I'm saying I can see that it's important to you that oh, yeah. they not feel like, well, dad's only nice at church or right. t towards other people. No, this is how dad is even at home. Yeah. When something needs to be made right, he makes it right. Um, yeah. So, yeah. I think you live that way too, where it's like people misunderstand the commandment in the Ten Commandments that says, um, do not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Right. And it's not it's not swearing. It's not saying JD <laughs> or right. JC or right. something. It's It means... Don't take on his name and call yourself his right. and then not live, live. Yeah. according well, to how he asks you right. to live. Yep. And that's important to us as parents. Yeah. You know. so, I love well, thanks, honey. You. I appreciate that. <laughs> you're welcome. You're, you're a good dad. Like, you guys, <laughs> you're, he's a good dad. Like, when the, um, he goes to work, first of all, my son doesn't want him working <laughs> outside the home. He used to wake they, up at four. Like he used to wake up at four mm -hmm. and just to be with his dad before his dad yeah, goes to would. work. Yeah. I was like, Javen, you can't get up this I'm early, like, honey, bud. It's he not has good school for you. in the morning. He needs to be in bed. <laughs> Enough. Um, and then actually this afternoon, he just said, you know, mom, do you remember last month when dad had his vacation? I'm like, yeah, that was so fun. I miss him. Like, any. <laughs> I'm only gone it, for. And you know, they're sleeping half right, the time. Right, but you've gone. like been back to work only like yeah. for a week. And, and we've gotten like, out early the last couple days. Right, but yeah, oh yeah, the kids. I mean, I'm that way too. I'm very selfish with Jory. Like, I want Hey, you're ruining time. one of my points. I said you were selfless. <laughs> well, uh, no, like, because I, I want to be with you. Yeah, yeah, I want to spend time with you too. I'm like, no, I need my time with dad. But like, um, you know, they'll hear his car coming. Mm -hmm. You know they all run to the door like yeah. dad dad and like <laughs> yeah so yeah it's nice to it, i love seeing that like okay. it makes me happy thanks honey yeah i appreciate that yeah thank you <laughs> okay my last one mm -hmm. is my wife is hot <laughs> <laughs> really jory <laughs> and i I know that's like maybe shallow, <laughs> it's a physical attribute, uh -huh. but I've always been very attracted to Biname uh -huh. from day one. I remember when I first saw Biname in math class, I went home, I told my brother Quinlan, I was like, I, today I saw the hottest girl I have ever seen. <laughs> and, and so I went on and on about her or whatever, you know, wearing this red top or I don't know what I said, but I was like, she was so attractive. And, um, went on from there and I've always found her very attractive uh, so much so that I have to curb my <laughs> comments and hands around the children <laughs> right honey? this is true uh, so like cool. Jory I think Bella just saw that <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> like you have to be careful but this is what I mean when I said like I feel loved by him it's like and that's in uh, in any hey, of the sizes can't, you can't just <laughs> You can't just come in here. It was then, my turn. Hold on. Wait, you spoke of my turn too. You so, can't come in here and give me another compliment after I can't give Wait, you. wait, wait, wait. But like, that, no, I'm just saying that that's what I mean. Like, yeah. it, at any size I've been, like, yeah. I'm he, like, mm -hmm. he's just like, I kind of like you. I'm like, listen, no, stop. It's like, it's like new cars. You got to <laughs> enjoy the next model <laughs> we're gonna change we're gonna change i'm just blessed that i get to like enjoy the changes oh so <laughs> you're so sweet so yes thank you honey i yeah, appreciate it of course it's true <laughs> the last reason was um for me is his dedication and love for for his family Aww. he's dedicated to his family he had an opportunity to take a job that would have required that he be away um from home from a week to three weeks at a time. Mm -hmm. And say for instance, we were celebrating something, he can get called to come back at any moment. Mm -hmm. And he tried it for one day, but then like he called me that night and said, this is not gonna work out. <laughs> right. So. Um, yeah, with that job, 
that that night I had worked with these two guys that had gotten called in with me to work on something. Mm -hmm. It just so happened that it was that weekend that they had to do that. And the one had two children, mm -hmm. they were teenagers, and they were just about to walk into a movie together. Oh no. And he had to leave his kids. Right. And I was like, I have two kids right now. That was when Jabin was still a baby. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, this could be me. Yeah. I could be away for weeks on end, mm -hmm. and then when I'm home, be called away. Yeah. I'm like, no. I, I couldn't do it. Yeah. I, I couldn't. So that's why family, it, like the way, he, the emphasis and the importance he place on us as a family unit is like, it inspires me mm. um, because what I was used to and what I saw, like just in the world, like um, their dads who are go to work all the time and mm -hmm. barely are home and we are trying to get him to stop working at this job <laughs> so he can be I'm like i gotta earn money so no, we just you he, want a roof you he's just food? he's just a fun guy very easy to be around um and so yeah we love him that much Aww. and so like i understood at the time i was like jory for real <laughs> you can, cause we we needed the money we needed it yeah. but um so i always say jory's a family man and he's taught me the importance of family and hmm. um being there and you know because he always says when someone's about to die they don't go oh i wish i had had all this money or worked it's always worked like more. yeah <laughs> it was it's always like i should have spent more time with such and such yeah. i should have you know so yeah. he's constantly reminding me of that right. and so oh, that I is inspirational thanks, and thanks. yeah absolutely and so his dedication and love for his family is impeccable. Aww, so yeah. Thanks, honey. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's true, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was fun. It was fun. Yeah. Maybe we should kiss. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you guys for joining us. Yeah. For this what I love about my you. <laughs> what is it? Why I love you. Why I love you. <laughs> so